Actors have a love-hate relationship with critics and reviews. I don't know of an actor who doesn't want to read a review where the critic loves the show and thinks their performance was wonderful. But there's always the danger when you read a review of uh, finding out the critic didn't like the show or thought you weren't any good in the part. As a result of that, a lot of actors either don't read reviews at all or they uh, wait till the show's closed to look over the reviews and then either throw them away or put them in the scrapbook with the rest of the stuff from the show and then pack it off in a trunk somewhere and forget about them. Either way, those actors are missing out on a really powerful marketing and advertising tool uh, that's called the Actors Review Sheet. And so today I want to talk about what that is, um, how you get material to create one, uh, then I'm going to show you some examples of what one looks like, and then describe how you can use it for your various marketing and advertising efforts. Okay? So, let's get started. So an actor's review sheet is exactly what it sounds like. It's a collection of some of the reviews that you've garnered from the project you were working on. Okay? Uh, there's basically two ways to go about getting the material to create um, an actor's review sheet. The first is you doing all the legwork. Reading the magazines and newspapers, seeing if there's reviews online or on television or on the radio. But the easier way to do it is to find out who the person is at that theater whose job it is to do the marketing and advertising. Because they're the person who will be collecting all those press releases and reviews uh, for the theater to use for their own you know, advertising efforts. Find that person and ask if you can get photocopies of all the reviews that come their way. Oftentimes a theater will actually give actors a press packet at the end of the run containing all of the, the reviews and press releases for that show. If they do, great. What you're trying to do is gather as much material as possible to choose from when creating the actor's review sheet. Now there's basically two criteria for this material, okay? You're either looking for a really good quote about the show or a good quote about your performance. Okay, so if uh, in uh, review A, they liked the show, but they didn't even mention you, well, you pull the quote about the show. If it's in review B, and they thought the show was okay, but they loved your performance, then you pull the quote about your performance. It's that simple. You're picking and choosing, okay? Um, you need to, of course, identify uh, the, the name of the source, you know, what newspaper or radio station or whatever, and the critic as well. Um, the second big element that goes on an actor's review sheet are pictures, okay? Either a picture of the show poster, uh, the icon of the theater, but most importantly, a picture of you in costume, okay? Um, now, you can do that one of two ways. You can either go back to the marketing and advertising person and see if there was a press shot of you taken at photo call uh, so that you can, uh, you know, use that picture. But don't be afraid to bring your digital camera to the theater and get a shot of you in costume on set uh, that you can then uh, use later for this specific reason, okay? So now let's see how we put all those elements together and look at a few examples. Before I show you how we put all these elements together, I thought I would show you an example of the most basic form of a review sheet. This is one I made almost 20 years ago. Um, I had done three plays off-Broadway in New York and so I was getting ready to start submitting myself for some summer stock work and um, so I took a few blurbs from each play from from the notices we got and um, put the strongest um, reviews you know up top and and then descending in order so if at the very least even if you don't have a picture uh, or an icon or a poster of any kind you can still at least do this kind of a review sheet um, for someone to look at, all right? Now this is a review sheet we actually made for my wife Shannon when she was playing Hannah in a production of Arcadia. So let's discuss the different elements on here. Um, that was the official press shot for her and the other actor, so we pulled and used that. This is uh, the icon they used for the show. That was We pulled that from the company's website. And then, of course, we've chunked the, you know, the sort of the headline of the sheet right up there. And then we've got three reviews, and we got lucky that uh, the Washington Post uh, made this the editor's pick. And then we uh, 
made the section about Shannon in bold so it, it would stand out. And then we added two smaller quotes. And we actually created this uh, right before the closing weekend of the show, which is why we have remaining show times call for tickets down there in the lower right hand corner. Now this next one is actually one I just made up uh, today for this video, just to show you an alternate layout design. I actually have played the role of Benedict, but uh, I just wanted to play around with layout for you to give you some ideas, okay? So let's say this is the poster for the show, and then I pulled a, a shot of me in costume, and I did it at the fictitious Actors Shakespeare Company. And then I've just created some text here, but just to show you a layout idea, uh, let's say I got a really good quote, Pratt shines as Benedict, so I put that up, that's sort of the headline of the sheet, and then of course I quote what paper it came from. And then I've got two nice long reviews, where I, I quote the, uh, I, um, the critic at, at the end of each, and I've highlighted, say, the text about me that really stands out. And then, as one more option, um, sometimes you can ask a director or a producer to give you sort of the equivalent of a letter of recommendation about your work with them on that project. If you um, feel comfortable doing so, go to the director and say, you know, could you write some, some thoughts down about my work on this project and what you thought about me as an actor? And if you feel that what they give you is good enough, then you can integrate it into the review sheet. So here, the fictitious director, Gus Johnson, uh, wrote some kind words about me, so I have a from the director box, okay? Um, oftentimes, uh, you know, when you go in for an audition, uh, the director you're going to be auditioning for just might know this, you know, this director named Gus Johnson, and suddenly uh, that quote's going to have a whole lot of weight behind it, okay? So now let's see how we can use these uh, review sheets in various marketing and advertising situations. So now that you've created this thing, what do you do with it? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, if you create the review sheet during the run of the show, you can use it in conjunction with an invitation to an agent or casting director or whomever. So you have a little cover letter that says, I'm now playing Benedict you know, at the Actors Shakespeare Company. The reviews are in. We've got a hit on our hands. Give me a call. I'd love for you to come to see the show. Uh, but if you wait until the show closes, you can create a review sheet and then send it out as sort of a wrap-up. Do a mailing to all the different people in your database um, with, a, with a short cover letter that says, you know, just finished playing Benedict at the Actor Shakespeare Company. It was a hit show, a lot of fun, you know, now I'm looking for something else to do. And the, the important thing about that is it's telling them that you're working, uh, you got good reviews, there's a picture of you in costume, and, you know, this isn't just another headshot submission or a postcard submission. It's something unique, something you've taken the time to create. So it's going to stand out. And trust me, they will take a few moments to read it over, okay? Um, if you have an audition coming up soon after the closing of that show, you can then either submit, you know, along with your cover letter, your headshot and resume, you can add the uh, review sheet as part of your submission to say, you know, I just finished doing this show. Or, when you walk in the room for the audition itself, you can hand the flyer to the director saying, I just finished playing Benedict, you know, here, here's the review sheet. You, know, you never know if the, that director you just handed it to might know Gus Johnson. And suddenly that quote that you put in the review sheet, they go, oh, you, you worked with Gus. And you have something to talk about. But to me, the real power of the review sheet doesn't come from one review sheet. It becomes after you get... 5, 10, 15, 20 of these things, okay? If you start creating a review sheet for every project you do from now on, and then if you really want to put some effort into it, going back and looking over the shows you've done in the last, say, 5, 10 years to find, um, to create something like this, what you're going to, to develop are a number of different uh, review sheets that you can pick and choose from depending on the project uh, you're going out for. Okay, or if you say you want to get interviewed by a theater or an agency, okay, um, you know if you if if classical theater is what you like to do and you've got a number of them to choose from, and you want to audition for you know uh, the Washington Shakespeare Company, 
you might pull your best reviews from the Shakespeare plays you've done in the past in your submission with your cover letter and your headshot and resume. Um, another thing to do with the review sheets, if you've got a number of different kinds of projects, let's say you're auditioning for a summer stock uh, theater or for the, this uh, theater that's auditioning actors for their entire season. Now, if you do your homework, you're going to be able to say, oh, okay, they, they do one musical, they do one Shakespeare, they do one comedy, they do one contemporary, one classic, and so on. Well, you might want to go back through those review sheets and find your best Shakespeare uh, review sheet, your best musical, your best com uh, comedy, and so on, to add to the submission itself. Okay? Um, then, you know, suddenly that credit you have on your resume where it says you played Benedict at the Actors Shakespeare Company, uh, you know, that, that dry little bit of information suddenly comes to life because there is the flyer. There's the photograph of you playing Benedict, uh, there's the poster, there are the quotes, and it adds a whole new dimension to your submission for that audition. Um, likewise, uh, let's say you're auditioning for a certain kind of role, say the hero role, or the young ingenue role, or the, char the comedic character actor role. Okay? Um, you, once again, you can pull the review sheets that, that reflect that, say, character choice or type and then put it in the submission, or hand them to the director. Uh, I've done that many times for, at auditions, okay? So, just to recap, put your ego in a box. Don't worry about what the critics really say about you, good, bad, or indifferent. You're just looking for positive uh, quotes that you can then integrate with some visual elements to create this review sheet that you can then use as an, one more marketing tool when you're trying to get that interview with an agent or with a theater company or an audition for a project. Um, when I began to use these on a regular basis, they, they turned out to be invaluable. And I can promise you, it'll do the same thing for you. Thanks for stopping by.